Hello everybody, my name is Fragile Toaster Theater and welcome to episode 31 of React, that's right guys, and uh, so yeah, if you remember last week I reacted to Game Theory Why FNAF Will Never End and I didn't react to all of it because it lasts for 80 minutes and I, and YouTube said I can only upload videos that last for like 15 minutes. So yeah, I have to split it. So I'm here today to react to the rest of the video. So uh, yeah, so <clears throat> as you guys know, I'm reacting to Game Theory. Why FNAF will never end. And uh, yeah, I reacted to this uh, last week and now I'm going to react to more of it. So yeah, so um, be sure to see that other video where I reacted to Game Theory of FNAF for another land, and then you can come back here. Is that a deal? Alright. I think we waited long enough for me to react to so I'm just, uh, or I waited to see the rest of you because Game Theory is an awesome theory. He has some awesome theories of FNAF, so that's why I want to react to more of of him. So yeah, so let's start the video or yeah whatever. Let's start what am I saying? Um but anyway this video is made by Game Theory if you didn't know. So let's start the react in three two one go and also this is also a let's talk episode. So yeah. One two three go. I mean seriously, what is this thing? Sometimes he's a bear, sometimes he's referencing it, and sometimes okay. he's a flower? Uh Okay. At first, it seemed like the creepy little toy was nothing but an imaginary friend. That was until the final moments after yeah. the bite, when we see the bear's signature yellow text. Mm -hmm. But this time, instead of parroting back the kid's feelings like he usually does, he shows that he is clearly in possession of a mind of his own, saying all kinds of creepy things like, You are broken. We're still your friends. Don't you believe that? And I'm still here. I will put you back together. This isn't just a split personality of the kid or no. anything. This is a separate entity. This is a spirit. This is someone who knows the danger of getting caught by the people wearing those suits. This is the victim that our FNAF 4 kids saw getting stuffed. This is Golden Freddy. Yes. Purple guy's first victim. And I know yeah. you're watching the comments. I thought it was spring trap, but whatever. Things and goes against stuff we've been saying for a while. But don't worry, we'll address it. Just get excited. We've pinpointed the identities of our two most mysterious yeah. animatronics. This is an awesome revelation from an evidence standpoint. But to be honest, it's a little disappointing from a storytelling standpoint. Why? Here's why. We humans all have a proven psychological need to complete things. This need is called unimaginatively the completion principle we want to okay. fill in the blanks and the stuff around us so that the world <laughs> makes stuff. sense and we feel in control it's the biggest psychological reason why you want to beat a game or even just an individual level you know how you just can't stop and save in the middle of a level you have to play until it's done this is the reason why weirdly enough it's even the reason why it's so hard to leave just one slice of cake outside of sheer deliciousness or what is he talking about pieces of a puzzle i mean even just looking at it on the screen Earl, just put the piece it's in. Earl. Just finish the last two. Just animate the pieces to move over into the open slots. And I beg just, you, just finish the piece. <sighs> there we go. Thank you. This yeah, isn't just you. you being OMG. I'm so OCD. It's actually because the brain is wired to respond to knowing when you're done with a task. The yeah. brain can now take the mental energy it was using to focus on that activity and use it on something else. But. What ah. happens if you don't finish that piece of cake? Or if you walk away from a game right before beating the level? Your brain can't put that activity away because it's still not finished. You literally continue to spend mental energy on it in the background, even when you're doing other things. As long as there are unknowns, your brain can't feel in total control and can't let things go. And whether he knew this when creating the first FNAF game or not, Scott Cawthon has done an amazing... He has. I gotta give Scott the credit for that. that looks like it goes one Way, but also looks like it might go somewhere else. This keeps us thinking about FNAF lore, talking about FNAF lore, pestering our favorite YouTube theorists for more FNAF lore for weeks, months. <laughs> Watching every video released on everything from top 10 details you missed in the FNAF 4 teaser to top 10 facts about the cupcake. The cupcake! <laughs> 10 facts about the cupcake. 
serious. That's made by Mike, and I'm, I haven't watched the video, I think. literally cannot let the pieces go until there's some kind of resolution, a completed story. But Scott has done such a good job of keeping the game in flux that the pieces never quite feel like they fit in a way that yeah, feels satisfying. Yeah, that's we true. We forget that moment uh, of R-O-L-A-I-D-S. That spells relief. So oh, okay. we want the pieces of the puzzle to fit together cleanly, and the problem with FNAF is that while there's plenty of evidence for the story to go one way, there's also evidence for it going somewhere else. Try this one on for size. Well, there's a lot of evidence for the kid in FNAF 4 being the puppet, and I yeah. bet my bottom dollar that that's the solution that's got intended. From a storytelling standpoint, more pieces actually fit together if the FNAF 4 kid becomes Golden Freddy and not the puppet. This would make our first victim, the one our FNAF 4 kid sees get killed, the puppet, like we've been hypothesizing since FNAF 2. Suddenly, you have a group of five kids celebrating a birthday, one kid associated with each animatronic, with the one representing Golden Freddy being the odd man out. And this scenario perfectly mimics the FNAF 3 good ending with the Happiest Day minigame, where it's five kids from five kids, each representing an animatronic, true. reunite to celebrate a birthday that never really happened. It actually creates a beautiful Maybe the four, story of redemption, you know, forgiveness, a reunion those... of brothers, and yeah, yeah, I know the complaints. Those Don't get four. me started about the maybe size of the kids being different. Is, there are the spirits of dead children. Maybe there are the brother of the kid. Okay, maybe purple guy kills the them and then they feel the sorry for the kids. It goes even further than that. In the FNAF 2 Give Gifts minigame, the puppet gives life to the dead children. I remember. Freddy, and then there's the was one kid, mask, yeah, right here. And everyone that thinks that he's Golden Freddy. Or he became Golden Freddy. In response to this incident, while the one, Golden Freddy, dies somewhere else. Like a hospital bed. Yeah. I mean, we do see the IV and pills and flowers. Yeah. As a result, that's why the puppet, the first victim, is able to reach those four kids' souls and save them, while Golden Freddy has to behave like a ghost. It also gels with the idea that the Take Cake minigame represents the first victim at the first location, and why the puppet is always the jump scare. Because yeah. he's the kid we just watched get killed. So a lot of storytelling pieces fit together, but at the end of the day, that leaves us with too many questions about why Golden Freddy Freddy is talking to our FNAF 4 kid. A spirit needs to be inhabiting that bear for the story to make sense. And Scott oh. certainly put in plenty of evidence that I haven't the thought of the that. FNAF 4 kid is the puppet. The FNAF 4 kid needs to have seen a tragic, scary incident to make him fear the restaurant, which means he can't have been the first kid to have been killed. In short, the yeah. challenge here is that you have a choice. There's oh, no, no evidence for our FNAF 4 kid becoming the puppet, but the resulting story I don't is more want satisfying to Please. for him to become Golden Freddy. Uh. Either side leaves you wanting more, because not all the evidence works in either scenario. And that is the true secret to FNAF. The completion principle demands that we get answers, that the scraps of evidence across the four games come together cleanly. But if and when they do, our brains will just be able to move on and forget about it, making it just yeah. another game that we played and is collecting dust on our shelf, or taking up memory space in our Steam account, I guess. In the meantime, good on Scott for making sure FNAF is always on our minds. <laughs> Good lord, giving us endless that's a lot of results. Bunch of stuff to he what the hell, Luigi? The that are there. Mario should Never have done that. So GG, Scott. GG. And GG to all of you too, theorists. Yay. All of us. For trying to complete the story and solve Since, the mystery. Yeah. I may complain about it, but honestly, Give me a GG. I've been having a I know I haven't done theory, but I have the done theories there and there. It's been my honor to work with all of you on this quest over the last year, and I look forward to trying to continue the quest in the year to come. Mm -hmm. In fact, since this has been a video many of you have been waiting for yeah. for a long time. I've been waiting now for Now that it's it finally out, this Thursday at 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific time, I'll be live streaming right here here on the Game Theorist channel, answering all the remaining questions you have about the FNAF franchise. Touching on things I didn't get to cover in this episode, like the presence of Mangle in FNAF okay, 4. Okay, yeah, also that's looking at true. Some of the theories that you've been submitting to me over the last year. <laughs> so if you have a question you want answered or a theory you want addressed, between now and Thursday at 4 o'clock p.m. PST, tweet me at MattPatGT with the hashtag GTLive. It just helps me sort things. <clears throat> I'll be reading your burning questions and answering them to the best of my Ability. And who knows, we may even be able to get a special guest or two Ooh, in here. So remember, that's fire. right here on the Game Theorist channel, Thursday at 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific Time. And to get you ready, welcome back to the Super Amazing and Dark Tournament. Bro, I want to know, do you think the FNAF 4 kid is the puppet? Oh, I told Freddy? you. Oh, I don't want to choose. Oh, I got I have to choose. You know which side won on 
Thursday. Wait, you're not kidding, are you? Be our way of oh, Scott God damn it. We want this story to take shape. But remember, that's just a theory. A, a game, game theory. theory. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. What happened? Mean what? He's here, he's there, oh. he's everywhere. Who you gonna, gonna go? go? Psychic friend, 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 I like switch keys at the end. It's weird. Psychic friend, Fred. Psychic friend, Fred Bear. That's it. He's here, he, he's here, here he's, he's there, there, he's everywhere. Who you gonna call? Psychic friend, Fred Bear. That wasn't it either. Damn. I can't do it. He's here, he's, he's here. <laughs> He's here, he's, he's there, he's, he's everywhere. everywhere. Who are you gonna call? call? Psychic Psyche friend, friend, friend there. That was it. Okay. Um. Yeah, I said I was going to choose between Golden Freddy and the puppet, so that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, let me just go uh, here. Here we go. Thursday's live stream, and it'll all be our way of letting. Okay, uh, who's gonna be the puppet or Golden Freddy? Eh, I don't know. You mean the puppet? You know, um, you know it's obvious for the kid to be the puppet because he always cries, and then Golden Freddy says, "I will put you back together," but. You know, why, you know, why should the kid be Golden Freddy if there is already a Golden Freddy ghost, you know? So, I wanna, uh, I'm gonna go for Puppet because it's obvious. I mean, it will make sense. Well, there's plenty of reason why, you know, the kid could be Golden Freddy, but, you know, there's just, ugh. I don't know, I can't choose both, so I had to go with the puppets. There you go. Oh, jeez. I went for the puppet. 56 episodes. Oh, what the fuck? No, let me. Life you've changed I have done. There we go. There we go. So. Oh, Jesus Christ. But that was me reacting to Game Theory. And the theory was awesome because he took. And the theory of um, the kid being the puppet, and the theory of the kid being the Golden Freddy. So, yes. Yeah, so, let me know you guys picked. Who you, do you think the kid is? You do you think it's he's the puppet or Golden Freddy? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, I will see you in the next react and let's talk episode. See you. Bye.